Well, it is time for the children's story. And I would like to share with you a few things about uh, a little animal that God has created. And I believe we have a picture of that little animal too that we can put up on the screen. It's the aphid. You all love aphids? Well, maybe you will love them more after you hear a little bit about them, okay? Without the ant's care, aphids have difficulty surviving. Did you know that? On plants not tended by ants, the average number of aphids was observed to be less than 70. Well, that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? On identical plants where aphids were tended by ants, the average number was 1,057. Aphids and ants get along very well together and they need each other. Many species of aphids disappear completely when ants are prevented for caring from them. In return for care the, and protection, aphids provide the ant with sweet, nourishing food. A colony of a million ants will end up getting over a half a ton of food in a single year from the aphids that they take care of. <clears throat> Did you know aphids have six legs, but each leg ends with a double foot? Thus, aphids, unlike most other insects, have 12 feet. Each foot is tipped with a tiny claw. Because of this, aphids can attach themselves so tightly to a stem that their legs pull off before they lose hold or are broken away. Both the aphids and the mosquito, did you know this? Have, tubular, have a tubular mouth called a proboscis. In the same way that a mosquito cuts through the skin and inserts its proboscis to suck blood, the aphid cuts through the plant's surface and places its proboscis into the vessels of the plant to suck out the liquid sugar. Like a mosquito, the aphids also inject a salivary solution into the plant wound to prevent the liquid sugar from solidifying. Did you know when aphids tap into a healthy plant, they will secrete up to two drops of honeydew per hour? And that's going to go end up going to the ants. A single drop may equal one fourth of the aphids total weight. To match this output, a cow would have to produce 60 gallons of milk per hour. Can you see how productive the aphid is for its size? Did you know ants may make as many as four round trips a day from a food source, which may be as far as 400 feet from the nest? This is equivalent to a man walking 68 miles. The aphid, however, which is much smaller than the ant, is capable of going several hundred miles in a few hours, providing conditions are right. When a flying aphid, and not all aphids have wings, some have wings and some don't. When a flying aphid reaches uh, heights which may exceed 2,000 feet, its eyes develop a keener sensitivity to certain shades of yellow. They are attracted to this color because it is the color of young plants. With its sensitive eyes, the aphid is able to avoid false landings. Because flying aphids look for yellow color on plant shoots, they can easily be trapped. Rose growers place yellow bowls of water around their roses as aphid traps. The aphid is attracted and then drowned. Did you know 
In warm weather, a winged female aphid can produce as many as 25 daughters in a day. They in turn mature in seven to 10 days and begin producing their own offspring without mating. Theoretically, if the young are undisturbed, the number of offspring from a single parent aphid can exceed 3,700,000 in less than a month. If all lived, aphids could easily cover the face of the earth in a single summer. And we're glad that doesn't happen. And finally, a young female ladybug must consume at least 100 aphids before she can lay her first eggs. One generation of ladybugs could easily devour uh, 140,000 aphids. Well, <clears throat> there's a few spiritual lessons actually that I'd like to share with you. Just like the aphid, people need to be cared for. When they are, their spiritual lives increase. Aphids are very productive little guys, and Jesus calls us to bear much fruit. Aphids can travel long distances in short times, just what God's people must do to prepare the world for Christ's soon return. When aphids fly high, their insight, their eyesight improves. In a similar way, when we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, our spiritual insight and eyesight will greatly improve also. Now, how many want to raise their hands and say that you love aphids? Uh-oh. We're not there yet, I guess. But God created these amazing little animals, and they are amazing. Before we turn to God's word this morning, I'd like to invite you to bow your heads for a moment of prayer. Kind Heavenly Father, 